I'll just salute Ugandans and say hello Ugandans. James William Mugeni is my name. A medical clinic officer by profession. I normally call myself a man who has seen it all. I have walked the Uganda Health Line from referral hospital to primary primary level to health centers to clinics. I, I own a clinic by the way. But that said, Tamale Mirundi, I saw you making a call, a national call, asking us, kill those people who are in authority. If they come to the diaspora, people kill them for us so that they come back here. Tamale Mirundi, we don't kill anyone here. We don't kill anyone here. And uh, we only protest, or we protest and keep protesting. Our protests uh, either to the funders of government of Uganda, then we are, we protest those who are in, in public administration in Uganda for not caring about Uganda. Yes, <laughs> I saw Katolu Wama in Itake crying for help. <laughs> My question is, how, who refers, who refers, at what level do we get such referrals? Of my colleagues in uniform, the Ugandan doctors and health workers and nurses, can we sit down and do an audit as a country and see whatever diseases we are referring people? What's the catalogue of these diseases that we are referring people for? I saw a desperate katolwama in a destitution, in a we call it a destitution. And I explained, I was trying to explain to you what destitution means in medicine. In destitution, that's when... <laughs> You feel everything has failed, and then you try the, the judges, then you go to prayers, then you go to work. But that is a simple process of dying. And when people die after accepting that death occurs, I heard, uh, I heard Eli Tumwine saying, we are all going to die, so get saved. Yes, Eli Tumwine, it's not about getting saved, but it's about preparing for death, and it's about promoting life. It's about improving on the quality of life as you are sick. These are the things we are talking about. They are not rocket science. These are simple things that Ugandan health workers know, but you have only deprived them of money, of funds, to create systems that can care for you. I just don't see why we are referring maybe constipation, urinary retention, these small, small things. There's a lot of aging. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are always proud that nowadays our life expectancy has shot to 70 years because of NRM. But after 70, you'll start regretting why you leave it after that. There are several things that require that you have a system in place to address your 70 years plus. So Ugandans, I salute you all. Let's keep thinking about our country. Amale Mirundi, your call was hard, but we in the diaspora, we don't kill anyone. We don't. You are calling on us, kill them, kill them, kill them. No, Tamale Mirun, we don't kill people. We don't. We are simple in the diaspora, and some of us know how hard, how tough. Me, I've seen it all. I've got doctors here doing odd jobs. I've got so many people, professionals from Uganda on the streets. I know it. Personally, I've gone through it. I know it. So, we want to be home. We are calling for being home, our home. We're calling for Uganda. Wherever we are, Uganda is our home. That's why we are talking. That's why we are picking and we have things to compare. Unlike you people at home who don't have what to compare with. I greet you all. Thank you for listening to me.